Behold a dealish dish from the land of the rising sun. What we got here is eel, bull, and take it from me, it's oi fucking she. So you best be mentally prepared because the show is about to begin. So I was strolling and trolling the mean streets of downtown Narita, Japan. I started soaking up that old-timey architecture and feeling one with the motherfucking universe. Now, I don't know how and I don't know why, but something about seeing all those old-school buildings worked up a serious hunger deep inside my soul. Lucky for me, Narita is famous for its local specialty, a little thing called Unadon, aka Eel Bowl. So I started cruising around those mean streets going on the hunt for a little Eel Bowl action. It didn't take me long to come across an Eel Bowl restaurant and it was looking nice, real nice. I took a peek inside the window and saw an Eel Maestro grilling up a shitload of eels in the place. That maestro's got those eels jammed onto sticks and he's grilling those bad boys to perfection. Seemed legit to me, so I decided to go inside that place and get me some fresh fucking eels. So I ordered up an eel bowl and took a seat. Next thing I noticed, I saw an eel maestro pin a live eel to the table and start slicing and dicing that thing like a seasoned pro. He cut up that mofo with samurai-like precision, and I think it's safe to say he showed that eel who's boss. Anyway, after a short wait, they brought out my eel bowl, and I thought that presentation was looking aesthetic to the max. So I figured I'd check out that small bowl first, and apparently what we got here is eel stomach soup. Just like grandma used to make. What else we got here? We got some vegetables, that's what I'm talking about. We gotta keep this meal all nice and balanced, like. Gotta get me some phytonutrients up in here. So next up, it's time to check out the main course. So here we go, and oh my dogs. Look at this eel bowl. I'm damn near at a loss for words here, people. I mean, let me explain it to you in simple terms. We got us some unagi here, aka freshwater eel. That unagi's been char-grilled to perfection, and it's glistening with greasy goodness. I guess what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is that right there is a fresh fucking freshwater eel. So I savagely ripped my chopsticks out of their package and started tearing into that eel like a hunger-crazed beast from the wild. My heart started pounding at a feverish pace and I had a funny feeling that this right here might be the eel to end all eels. So I ripped off a piece of that eel, inspected it nice and close like, and then I jammed it deep inside my mouth. Now the exact nanosecond that that piece pierced my palate, I felt like my horizons had been broadened in buck wild ways. That eel was incredibly soft and succulent with a char-grilled flavor and a light teriyaki sauce popping off. Now I don't know how, but something about that grilled eel piqued me at a primal level. I felt some kind of animalistic urge take over and I started shoveling that food into my mouth at life-threatening speeds. I figured I needed something to wash that unagi down, so I grabbed that unagi stomach soup and took a sip. It had a light fish broth-like flavor and it was pretty good, but nothing to write home about. I grabbed that eel stomach and slammed that down the hatch while I was at it. I might as well chow down on a nice fucking vegetable too. Gotta get those greens in, baby. Now that was all fine and good, but the star of the show was most definitely the eel bowl. So I grabbed some huge ass clumps of eel and rice and furiously jammed them in the general direction of my face. And before I knew it, I had polished off that incredible, life-enhancing eel bowl. Only problem was, I was in dire need of a dessert and this place didn't have any. So I took back to those mean streets and went on a wild hunt for a top-notch Japanese dessert. I came across some pretty sweet flowers called Nanohana, which were nice, but I needed to get me a dessert over here. I can't be wasting time looking at flowers. I gotta stick to my mission, baby cakes. 
Lucky for me, I came across just the thing I was looking for, Japanese ice cream with a traditional twist. What we got over here is Goma, aka sesame seed ice cream, and personally, I think it looks pretty nice. Now this place has two basic varieties of ice cream. They've got the black sesame seed and the golden sesame seed. Now both sounded mighty tempting, but I decided to get myself the golden sesame ice cream. So the maestro soft served that ice cream into a cone and then started sprinkling a shitload of sesame seeds onto that bad boy. So the second that maestro gave me my ice cream, I sprinted out onto the street and got ready to chow down on that puppy right then and there. We got cars whizzing by, but I didn't give a toss. I figured I'd best be chowing down on that ice cream ASAP. And wow, just wow, that ice cream right there was unlike any I've ever had before. I feel like that ice cream has improved my life, although I can't pinpoint exactly how or why. The ice cream itself is lightly sweetened with a nutty, almost tahini-esque flavor. Add to that, we've got the texture of the crushed sesame seeds on the outside, and overall, I'd say that's a nice fucking dessert right there. So after that ice cream, I was feeling satisfied, and I decided to hightail it the hell out of that city. Oh, and by the way, if you like oishi Japanese food, then feel fucking free to check out some of my other videos. I've got a Tokyo ramen tour video, and I've got a Tokyo oyster bar video, just to name a few. I've got those links in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.